Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I thought I would talk about my summer reading plans. It is post Memorial Day weekend and so summer is officially here. I guess. After Memorial Day is basically in my head summer and for me summer always means June, July, August. So I'm not someone who typically does TBRs or anything along those lines but I always like having sort of like summer reading plans. I think it's just a holdover from school life even though I haven't been in school for like a decade. You know during the school year I couldn't read as much as I would like because you know school. So in the summer I would pick up all of these like really big books that I wouldn't be able to tackle during the school year and that has sort of led me to forever picking up big books in the summer. Um, I've talked about this in the past but like every year I pick, try to pick up one big classic to read and I usually read that in the month of August. But this year I decided that I'm going to try to do one big book every month. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out. This might be a terrible idea but we're going to try. So I have my three books here and I thought I would just talk a little bit about them and why I plan on reading them. All right so first up I have the classic that I'm going to be trying to read this year and that is The Three Musketeers by Alexandre Dumas. Um, I read The Count of Monte Cristo when I was in college and that was the first time I had done the big book over the summer thing and and that I think took me about a month to read The Count of Monte Cristo and I really enjoyed it but I never picked up anything else by Dumas so I have The Three Musketeers here and surprisingly I know nothing about this story other than there's three musketeers. <laughs> like I've never seen any adaptations of it. I feel like I've never really hear people talking about this one that much even though everyone knows like The Three Musketeers as like a general sense or idea but I think everyone just has the picture of like the guys in the hats with the swords and that's about it. Anyways, this is the one I'm going to be reading in the month of August and I'll be doing like a read along on my own channel but yeah I'm really excited for this one because I heard that this is just like another fun adventure story sort of situation. So yeah this is the big classic that I'll be tackling this year. The other big book I want to try to tackle this summer is John Adams by David McCullough. I have been slowly working my way through like presidential biographies and things like that but clearly I haven't made it that far from <laughs> president number two. Last year I got distracted by the Hamilton biography I will say that. Anyways um so yeah I tend to pick these up over the summer like the president that I'm on. I'll read that over the summer. So it's time for John Adams. And I recently got this as an ebook because it was an ebook deal. And I got really excited about that because Lord knows I don't want to be carrying this book around. So yes, hopefully I'm going to try to start with this one in June. According to my Kindle, it should take me around 18 hours to read, which means I should be able to finish it within the month. But we'll see what happens. And then the final big book I'm going to try to read this summer is Barkskins by Annie Prue. I've never read any Annie Prue before and that is a shame and I heard really good things about Barkskins. Um, I know that this is going to be sort of like a slow moving epic sort of book. At least that's the sense I get from it which I am 100% okay with. Like something about like slow moving epic books really fit for summer for me. I think it's like the heat and everything just makes me really slow down and I think just like the color scheme on the cover also just reads like heat and summer to me as well. I don't know if I'm completely off on this. If you've read Barkskins feel free to let me know. But yeah I'm really excited to give this one a read. I had like picked up and put down a copy of this book pretty much every time I went into a bookstore from the point when it came out until I finally bought it. I found it at a used bookstore and I was like okay it's at a used bookstore now so I definitely should be picking this up. So yeah I have this. This is probably what I will read in July assuming that I finished John Adams in the month of June. So yeah those are my summer reading plans and obviously like I'm not going to be like super strict about making sure that I read all three of these books over the summer because again I don't do TBRs very well and then once it starts to feel like pressure or required reading I tend to avoid it. But I think that there's something about like reading big books over the summer like just really really appeals to me all the time and again I think it's just a holdover from when I was in school and I would save all of my big books for the summertime because I wouldn't have time to read them during the school year or it would take me like an entire semester to read a book like that because who had time for extra reading. I mean I did make time for extra reading but I would save all of the easy stuff for when I was in school it's like my thrillers and chick lit and things like that. So yeah let me know down below. Do you guys do summer reading plans? I mean I know that when people like go on vacations and things like that they might save certain books for those 
times. But other than that, do you do sort of like summer reading TBRs? Do you save certain books for the summertime specifically? And it might not be big books, but it might be like you like to read your mysteries and thrillers in the summertime or you like to save all your chiclet for the summertime or something like that. Yeah, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear what your summer reading plans are or if you have just general plans for the month of June. Leave that down in the comments as well. Or if you've read any of these books, you're welcome to comment about that as well and let me know what you thought of them. So yeah, that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!